Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. <laughs> you know what? Netflix now has a reputation for good comedy specials. You have the Dave Chappelle one. There's a new one from Bill Burr who's in the same vein where he takes these fucking crazy ultra PC, everything is offensive to me, culture to task. But I think they might have competition. They might have somebody who is vying for their title. You guys didn't see it yesterday? It was a comedy special. They had tons of comedians up there. Every, they had a bunch of jokes and funny stories. Man, what the hell was the name of it? It was... Oh, yeah. The United Nations Climate Summit. <laughs> Man, what the fuck was that? <laughs> and of course, the star of the show was the, <laughs> the darling of the Democrats, the child <laughs> of climate change. Oh, that little girl, Greta Thunbergen, Forgen, Gergen, fucking Bjorgen, whatever her name is. That little girl. And you know what? I'm not going to clown on the little girl and make fun of her. Well, I might make fun of her a little bit, but it's not her fault. She's 16. She can't do shit. This little girl can't even drive a car, but we're supposed to let her shape world policy. Did you see that little girl? Go to my Facebook page. Go to my YouTube page under community. I put a, a, the clip of her giving her speech. <laughs> Man, I felt like I was being lectured by a little kid because I was. And I didn't like the feeling because the feeling is foreign to me because I don't get lectured by fucking children. Her parents are what I call whack. Woke at all costs. It doesn't matter. Forget that you're taking away from this girl's education. She's 16, so she's probably wrapping up her high school career. But she's not there doing that. She's halfway around the world trying to tell grown-ups what to do. If her parents are watching, and I'm sure you are, you fucking suck, and you should have your ass kicked. Pimping out your child like that. They're what we call parental pimps. They don't care about this little girl. They're using her to show how woke they are. You gotta be woke. If nothing else, you gotta be woke. So they're pimping this little girl out, taking her around the world so she can tell us what the fuck to do. You know what, little girl? You need to be over there in China. You need to be in India, okay? Because America's the cleanest country in the world. We got it, all right? We don't need any fucking help. But she's up there. We're, we have, it's uh, mass, mass extinction has started, and the planet isn't going to make it, and if you fail us, we will never forgive you. Like, it was fucking crazy. How did this, how did this room of grown-ups not burst out in laughter when this little kid is trying to take us to task about the planet? And who wrote her speech? Those are not the words of a 16-year-old. I don't give a fuck how Doogie Hauser you are. Those are not the words of a teenager. Somebody wrote that shit for her. Now, if these were her words and her emotions only then maybe I could agree a little bit and maybe I wouldn't think it was so stupid despite the subject matter. This is a kid we're talking about here. But who is writing this shit for her? We will never forgive you. And I, what the fuck are you talking about? It sounds like some angry latte sipping and i don't mean sipping rick i mean one of those fucking man bun douchebags who holds the hot drink with both hands you pussy some soy foam whip no dairy latte stevia sweetener cotton ball handshake deep v-neck no chest hair 
Still on your fucking mom's insurance, piece of shit, wrote that for her. They are using that little girl to say the words that they don't have the balls to say or the words that nobody wants to fucking hear from them. So like women in the elderly, we give children a little more leeway. We go, oh, okay, little kid, go ahead. Go ahead. Like when my son tells me what he did for school and he goes on for 10 minutes about incoherent nonsense. He's three and a half. So I give him a little wait. wait. Uh-huh, son. Uh-huh. Oh, really? You did that? Wow. How many were there? That kind of shit. So that's what we're doing to this little girl. Which is a shame. She should have been escorted out of there. I'm sorry, young lady. This is for grown-ups. You got to go. Why are we taking this girl seriously? Who the fuck is listening to her? And then people were clapping after her little points. Like, yeah, you're right, little girl. And you see the clip where she's like mad dogging President Trump when he comes in the room. Kid, get the fuck out of here. What are you going to do? <laughs> Man, that shit was fun. She had her little... <laughs> <laughs> it was laughable man it was fucking laughable and ridiculous and we can't take it seriously even trump tweeted what a happy little girl looking forward to a bright future i mean come the fuck on what 16 year old is this angry now you got your fake ass teenage angst and shit like that, you're mad at your parents because they don't want to let you go to your friend's house because your friend is a little piece of shit. But come on, man. We're really giving this little girl airtime? Stop it. Stop pimping these children. Every one of you fucking parents who let your kids skip school to go to a climate rally is a fucking dummy and you should have to pay extra tax this year. How stupid are you? Climate change is a fucking lie. Man-made climate change. If there's any other kind, who gives a shit? And then we can do, the planet's going to do what it do. Earth is going to Earth, right? So what the fuck are we going to do? Okay, climate change is here. Now what? Not a damn thing. Man-made climate change is a fucking lie. Who is believing this? Have your seasons changed any? Has winter gotten longer? Has summer gotten longer? Are your summers hotter than normal? No. In the summertime, it's hot as fuck. And the winter time is cold as fuck. Now, I want to see this, little, and especially coming from a place like Sweden, where it gets colder than sealed dick. Now, I want to see this little girl doing her world tour from late November to fucking April, when half the country is under six feet of snow or more. I remember being on the East Coast, being in, uh, in Buffalo, New York. Looking at this house like, why do you have a, f a front door upstairs? You got a door down here and a door up there. And my buddy, shout out to Tony. He said, that's for when the snow gets so fucking high and you still need to get out of your house. Wait a minute. Please let me let my simple California mind wrap itself around the concept that there's so much fucking snow, I need two doors. Climate change, global warming, depending on what decade you're in. Now, I want to see her hitting the streets with this climate change bullshit in the wintertime. I want to see you go to hell, Michigan, Let's say mm, December 15th and preach that shit then. I want to see you on the on the Great Lakes because it's going to be so fucking cold that it's frozen. I want to see you out there talking this climate change bullshit about December 15th. <clears throat> now, if we have the ability to ch change the climate as far as warming it, then why don't we have the ability to change the climate as far as cooling it. 
Like we're changing the temperature so much. Okay, so in the summertime, why don't we make it a little cooler? And in the wintertime, make it a little warmer. I mean, we have this power to play with the fucking global temperature gauge. So why don't we change it to our benefit? I don't understand. We have this power to change the Earth's climate. That's some major shit. So why don't we use it to our advantage? Why are we fu why are we fucking ourselves? Let's make climate change fun, huh? Let's make it fun, guys. Let's use it to our advantage. When it gets too hot, we'll do whatever we do. I don't even know what that is to bring it down. And when it gets too cold, we'll do whatever. The I don't know what. Make more factories. What do we do to affect the Earth's climate anyway? But in the su in the winter time. We'll make it a little warmer. Why not use this newfound power that we have to adjust the Earth's climate to our advantage, people? I don't understand. Why are we helping ourselves? Because we have no sway over the Earth's climate. Man, <clears throat> there's a commercial out there that this little girl and some scientist named George, some weird fucking foreign last name, right? So they're talking, showing all these clips, of course, the Amazon's burning and fucking plastic floating in the ocean and pictures of this and that. And they cut down rainforests at this rate. I've been hearing that same bullshit since sixth grade in Mr. Dankin's class in 1992. Have we been doing that shit so hardcore since 1992, then why is there even still a rainforest? And then this dumbass goes, you know, there's these little tiny machines that suck in carbon and take it out of the environment. It's called a tree. Like we haven't had the fucking idea to plant more trees. Matter of fact, I think it's a law that when loggers cut down trees, they have to plant a certain amount in their place to replenish. Man, stop with this shit. Why is this even a thing? Who pushes this to the forefront? Who makes this a thing? Is it the media? Because this is a fucking joke. Man-made climate change does not exist. Find me a scientist, a credible one, that's not paid by the fools who want this message pushed on us. Prove it. The warmest temperatures ever created were before the Industrial Revolution. So what were we doing then? Building too many fires to warm ourselves at night and cook our food? Man, get out of here with that shit. Stop pimping that little girl. Stop letting these fucking kids out of class to focus on some bullshit. That isn't even real. And if it was, there's not a fucking thing we can do about it. Nothing. We ain't shit. That should be my next t-shirt. Matter of fact, I'm going to make that t-shirt right now. It's going to say, we ain't shit. And we're not. If the earth decides to shake the proverbial etch-a-sketch, we're finished. All we're going to do is squeeze our family members tight and fall into the fucking ocean and die. That's it. Fucking United Nations Climate Summit. <laughs> and then Trump, I think he stayed for like less than 15 minutes of this bullshit. He's like, man, I'm out. I'm going to go take a shit or something else more exciting than this. And he talked about illegal immigration, how it affects the world, not just us. And then he talked about the LGBT ABC alphabet suit group talking about how in America we support them, they have rights but some places in the world you can be jailed or killed for being gay you hear that? you hear that alphabet soup group members you see how good you have it here the thought of someone being arrested for their sexuality is laughable and it should be there are places in the world where they will put you in prison or throw you off a fucking building for being gay. Why don't you guys take all this energy, all this you're going to accept me no matter what bullshit. Why don't you take all that energy, 
hop on a plane, I'm sure there are plenty of Americans who will be willing to donate to your fund to get the fuck out of here, go over there, roll your sleeves up, and get to work. You know why you won't do that? Because you're not for real. You're not really for acceptance. You're for bullying and making people bend to your will because you feel like you're in control now. Instead of being a grown-up, forgiving and forgetting, even though we didn't have shit to do with your life, you're deciding to turn all that anger outward toward us. Talking about you want rights. Then go fucking get them for other people. And watch them jail and throw your fucking ass off a building. You better stay over here, enjoy your rights, and shut the fuck up. Man, please, let me get up out of here and enjoy the last day of my vacation. Not vacation, my weekend, my staycation. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe, hit that notification bell, utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. Also... Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You get a little ling-a-ling-a-ling every time I drop a new video. And as we all know, every time a bell rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. <laughs> I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.